Welcome to Heat Check, powered by Defunct.com. These are the highest selling vintage t-shirts on eBay over the last two weeks. Let's see who made the list. Coming in at number 10, we have the vintage Wu-Tang Clan Forever Rap Tee. We have seen this one on the list before. Uh, I think it actually uh, ranked a bit higher last time. Uh, but this one looks great. Looks like it's in fantastic condition. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, not, my, not my personal favorite Wu-Tang uh, t-shirt, but we have seen this one uh, sell for, I think, a little bit more than this one did. Uh, either way, this one is a really cool t-shirt. Uh, a must-have for any Wu-Tang t-shirt collector. This one sold for $950. Next up, another t-shirt we have also seen before. This is uh, the second or third time we've seen this t-shirt make the list. We have this Slayer Rain and Blood 1986-1987 tour tee. Uh, this one is fantastic. Uh, on the right size of medium, which is a pretty small size, but still so cool. Look at this. Uh, looks like it's in fantastic condition. It looks like uh, Slayer actually visited Norfolk, Virginia, which is real close to where uh, I grew up. So. Uh, I wasn't there in 86 or 87, or I wasn't even alive in 86 or 87, but it would have been cool to see him either way. Uh, this one also sold for $950. Then at number eight, we have the Fuji's The Score Torti. Uh, this one actually for a second, like had me tripping a little bit because I just did not feel like the wear was all that, um, it, it just looked a, a little like a uh, simulated or fake. Um, wear, but uh, I did have a buddy look at it and feel pretty confident this is uh, legit. Uh, so this one's awesome. Uh, it does have wear in some sort of like unusual places and unusual ways, but that's just the way uh, some of these faded. They faded a lot differently, especially um, for different eras of t-shirts and, uh, and uh, printing. Uh, but this, the backside looks fantastic, which is what uh, kind of threw me off. Is the, the backside has very little wear, where the front side has, uh, you know, decent wear. Uh, but this one's great. Looks fantastic. Uh, huge hit on the back. Love it. Killing me softly. Uh, this one is fantastic and sold for $1,000. Then we have the Akira. This one is super cool. A lot of times we see the Akiras on black and some of the more recent ones. But this one appears to be... Uh, from 88 or so right there 88 89 uh, 90 somewhere around there but look at this dope t-shirt on the white size XL which is always good to see uh, looks like there may be a little bit of like staining right there not too bad we see Akira's on here all the time uh, some of the, the bigger ones have you know sell for like the all over print sell for quite a bit more we haven't seen one of those in a while but this one did just fine with two bids uh, so it probably started up pretty high. Uh, it sold for $1,025. And I don't necessarily wouldn't call it excellent. This will appear to be a few like stains. But uh, either way, it's a fantastic tee. The uh, one design you don't see that often. Next up, we have our uh, obligatory 3D emblem Harley tee. We've got the riding hogs and picking up chicks. Uh, joke tee, hilarious, right? There's a 3D emblem tag. Let's take a look at the tag real fast. Uh, it's not completely faded out to where you can't see it, so that's nice. Always nice to see. A backside, Golden State Harley, San Jose, California. Uh, there is the 3D emblem, 1989. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, 20 inches across, so that's a pretty decent size. Uh, it's not not great. Uh, it's sort of you know still small in the, the the in terms of larges, but looks like a fantastic condition T-shirt. We always see these 3D emblems do pretty well. This one had 22 bids and got all the way up to $1,134. Fantastic sale. Now, here is a really fascinating one. We have the 1990s Nirvana Kurt Cobain 1992 Ireland Tour T. Uh, I am not familiar with this particular design. Um, it is long sleeve. Um, but, of course, there is all kinds of random Nirvana designs out there. Um, looks like the tag was cut off. It does look like it's one of the European Screen Stars tags, maybe. Um, we have the Nevermind here on the back. I don't know if this is bootleg. I really don't know. I've not seen this one, especially, and especially if it's a European one, of course. it's. I mean, I don't get uh, in front of those that often. So, uh, can't tell you its origin, but it looks super dope. 
um, does appear to be constructed correctly. I uh, love the texture, uh, sort of tie-dye texture on the on the on the T-shirt. Looks like it's some sort of green Nirvana smiley face on the back. Now, if you know more about this particular model, let me know in the comments below. But this one is super cool. Uh, definitely, even though it's long sleeve, which which surprises me sometimes how much it can hurt a T-shirt's value. Um, it still is pretty dope. Uh, this one sold for one thousand one hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, probably one of my favorite tees on this list. Then next up, we have the 1984 Bathory. This one's so cool. Uh, black metal tees occasionally pop up on this list, and certainly Bathory uh, <laughs> counts as that. Uh, this one's super dope. Uh, let's take a look at the tag. It's on the Platinum Tees, size large, a 50-50 blend, made in USA. Uh, again, we don't see like these crazy, uh, you know, 80s black metal tees all the time, but when we do, they tend to sell very well. This one has a few issues on the sleeves. Uh, that's a very repairable uh, issue. This one, uh, less so, looks like it may have been attempted to be repaired at one point, um, but you could probably fix that. But uh, either way, yeah, see, there's classic under, you know, armpit separation, not a big deal. Looks like there might have been repairs before, but. Either way, this is a fantastic tee. If you're into black metal tees, this is uh, this is a grail for sure. This one it did sell for what they asked for it, twelve hundred dollars. All right, number three, we have a classic. We see this one fairly regularly, almost enough to where uh, it might be time to retire it. But we do have the in in utero Nirvana T-shirt on the Brockham tag. This one looks like it's in fantastic condition, as far as I can tell. Um, doesn't look like there's any major stains, which on a white tee is a big deal. Looks like they, I, I would guess they cleaned it. Uh, size XL is fantastic, fantastic. Um, I would guess it kind of feels like it's been cleaned, uh, you know, bleached or maybe I don't know if that's, they're showing like stainings or not. It's hard to tell with the, the, the color of the uh, the white the the white balance. But um, it looks to me like it's been cleaned, but who knows? Um, maybe not. Maybe it's this way since they have had it since the 90s like this but fantastic t-shirt this one sold for 1350 then we have the flaming lips at number two this one is dope uh probably the coolest flaming lips tee uh in my opinion uh at least my favorite that's for sure um was never a huge fan of flaming lips but this t-shirt i'm a fan of love love the the colors the textures the the design for sure on uh, the back sides cool too um, and I, I love I love the little little back hit here on the giant by Toltex what else can you say about this t-shirt it's a great t-shirt doesn't come up very often flaming lips tees tend to do really well um, and this one is no exception this one sold for fifteen hundred dollars now before we get to number one if you're gonna spend a fortune like on one of these t-shirts on this list make sure that it's authentic by using the legitimate app in the description below use code loop fan for 25% off your authentication then at number one, we have the 1999 Serial Experiments Lane Anime T-shirt. Uh, this one, we've seen Lane tees go uh, for lots of money uh, over the years, or over the year or so we've been doing this. Uh, this one is probably the best looking condition one I've ever seen uh, on this list. The print just looks fantastic, like almost zero wear. Like this was just like, I mean, it almost feels dead stock to some, to some degree. The black is hardly faded. Like it's it's so clean. I would be concerned about dry rot on this black tee. I would definitely want them to have checked that. I don't know if they mentioned that. Uh, it says this is this person's first time selling on uh, eBay, though they do give their Instagram, which that's not a <laughs> eBay does not like that. But we can look down here and actually see the seller feedback. The person who actually bought this item actually already gave feedback on it, so it looks like everything went well and uh, buyer was satisfied and the seller made a fantastic sale. This one sold for $17.99 to top the charts this week. 